So is the, is the timer on? I think the timer's going. Okay, so I decided to do the respiratory system. I mean, everybody has to breathe, so that would be a pretty interesting topic to do. Um, basically, I, so this is the overview of the entire system. Up here we have like the nodes and the openings into the respiratory system. That's kind of, you know, it's where you're going to take in your air. And it comes down into the main area down here, of course, which is the lungs. And this is um, it's mainly like an involuntary system. We're always breathing all the time. The three main organ systems uh, within the respiratory system starts up here with the airways taking in everything. And then we move down. The second main organ system is the lungs. And the final main system is the uh, diaphragm and the other muscles. So the seven main organs are the nose, the mouth, the pharynx and larynx, the trachea, the lungs, and the diaphragm. Um, and so we start with the upper tract because there are actually two tracts in the system, the upper and the lower. Uh, the upper tract consists of the nose and uh, nasal cavity, the larynx and pharynx, and the uh, top of the windpipe area. The lower tract is uh, where the bottom of the windpipe will lead into the lungs and the diaphragm is situated beneath it, of course. And then these are the bronchi, which actually are um, used in the conversion process of the gases. So the lungs are the main organ within the system, of course. We have two lungs. And the bronchi within the lungs are um, what are used for when we take in the oxygen into our system. These actually use the oxygen and um, are able to pump it out throughout the body, get it to the heart, wherever we need it. And then um, the oxygen is used and we create waste, which is, of course, carbon dioxide. And then this carbon dioxide is um, removed from our body by breathing out. The nose is another major organ within the system. This is uh, one of the entrances into the system. Another is the mouth, of course. But um, the nose isn't actually any, there's no muscle or bone, I mean, inside of the nose. It's all just cartilage. And this connects directly to the nasal passage. So it's not directly connected to the windpipe and the trachea area. It's situated above it, but we're always told, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. So of course the mouth is where we should be eliminating the waste from our body, which is the carbon dioxide. And um, mouth is more of a, when you think about the mouth, you think of more of a digestive tract kind of thing, because that's where it's most important. But the mouth is also very important in breathing. Um, the mouth, of course, will connect directly to the throat and then um, also to the windpipe. And the throat, or also known as the pharynx, that's another major organ. The pharynx isn't actually the entire throat. The pharynx is actually the small section between the uh, mouth and nose area and then the windpipe. And um, it also contains something called the epiglottis within the pharynx. And this is what protects our voice box or larynx from when we're eating. Um, it covers it and makes sure that no food can get in there to actually harm the system. The next major organ is the larynx, of course. This is how we make sounds and um, expressions with uh, each other and we're able to speak that way. And that's very important so that we can just talk, I guess. <laughs> this is the top view of the larynx. Um, these little white bones things you can see right here, that's actually our vocal cords. So that's basically the main instrument used in creating speech and sounds in our body. Next is the windpipe. And the windpipe is actually also known as, scientifically, the trachea. And this is the long passage within the body that will connect the mouth and nose area, like that upper tract area, to the lower tract, which consists of the lungs and the respiratory muscles. It's coated in a thick mucus, and it has rings. You can see like these rings here. Those are rings of cartilage, and it helps to reinforce the windpipe so that it's not so easily able to be crushed. And the final um, thing is the diaphragm, which is the biggest of the respiratory muscles. 
you breathe in and then breathe out, you can feel it, you know? And um, when you breathe in, it actually um, contracts so that it can regulate your breathing functions. And that's why it's very important to have it. And that is the entire presentation.